gonna roll the field that I'm gonna drill alfalfa into to push all the rocks down and smooth it out a bit. So we got the old trash pump out. Got the roller filled. It's not a big fancy roller, but it'll do the job. Came with the place when I bought it, so it didn't cost me anything. You get this thing full of water, it really mashes those rocks down. hitch pin I guess wasn't long enough rattling around it must have popped out or else the hitch broke off I don't know kind of torpedoed it into the dirt take the bucket here and get it raised up and see what happened just all of a sudden got quiet and turned around it no more roller on Tilly hey it's my riding partner today she got tired of running so now she's taking a break Came unhooked, it looks like it hit right there. I don't see the hitch pin anywhere. Hitched up and keep going. Had a longer one in the tractor. So it shouldn't go anywhere now, hopefully. Today we're pulling cedars out of the cows that I'm going to AI. The wind has been so bad that I just can't even narrate while I'm doing it. So I just get them in the alleyway and pull them out and then put them in the bucket and these are 14 day cedars and I only use them for seven so I'll clean them later and then I can reuse them next year if I put them in a sealed bag and then I give them a shot of lutal ice and Betsy will explain what that does to their cycle and then 66 hours we'll time breed all these cows we don't heat detect or anything just straight time breed them it's just easier i don't have the time to go through that process I also put on some estrus patches. It just helps to see which cows are cycling and how many of them are coming into heat. Yeah. So I go out usually the day or evening before and just get an idea on how the cows are cycling and how it's gonna work. Pulled out the cedars. Now they get turned out for 66 hours and get bred. So it's Wednesday or Tuesday evening. We'll breed them Friday morning. Just a time breed. No heat detect or anything on these. So Reese went over how artificial insemination works and the protocol he's using, which is a co-sync with a cedar. So I thought I'd 
get in touch with the veterinary medicine side of things and actually tell you more about the bovine cycle and then how we're manipulating it with the hormones to make them ovulate when we need them to so we can get the semen in there and get the babies that we want. I went and got all my vet notes out so you could actually see how this process is working on the hormone level with the cows. So this is the length of their cycle. So 18 to 21 days is your average cow. This is estrogen being secreted by the follicles. So this is when they're in actual estrus. Then they secrete LH, luteinizing hormone, which is what we're doing with the GnRH hormone when we give that injection. And then this is the progesterone, which is secreted by the corpus luteum, which is what happens after a follicle grows. It becomes a CL, a corpus luteum. And this progesterone is what we're doing with the cedar. That's what it's secreting. And then this is what happens if they don't get pregnant. They come back into estrus. So we're hoping to keep this progesterone going. And when we AI them, keep it a pregnancy and that progesterone maintains the pregnancy. So this is the actual protocol Reese used. So he gives the GnRH, which is your same thing as your LH right here to kind of reset their system and start that cycle over. And then he puts in the cedar to maintain that progesterone. And then he gives prostaglandin, which is lutealize, to get them to reset the cycle. So he's essentially short cycling them so that they ovulate when he wants them to. And then we give them another GnRH. So we're going back to here in the cycle. So it brings all of this in a smaller seven day window to reset their system so that we have control over the ovulation phase. So these are the hormones we used and the timing windows you can see day zero, seven, and then 10 is when we actually AI. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, bovine repro is very confusing sometimes and it took lots of years of practice to get it in my head. Here we are on AI in day. It was again too windy to talk or narrate while it was going on. I hire my neighbor, Mike, to AI my cows. I only do 40 or 50 a year, so I wouldn't get good at it enough. And it is kind of spendy, so I don't want to take the risk of not getting them bred by not being experienced. So what he does is, with his left hand, he rectally grabs the cervix and then he feeds the pipette in and once he's in the uterus he injects the semen. And it kind of depends on how far along they are in heat or not. Some of the cows are really easy to find and put that in and some are a little tougher. And then once he's done, I give them another shot of GnRH uh, to make sure that they're cycling right. These cows will go on the forest reserve, so I'm also putting collars on them while they're in the chute so I don't have to get them back in. You can see more collaring on previous video or the upcoming video will have us collaring these cows and more. You can learn more about our vents study and how that works for us. <laughs> Yeah.
He's getting the babysitters. Finishing up rolling this pivot for me. Get all these rocks smashed down. And then once my spray guy gets time, he's going to come and spray these weeds that really popped up in the last week with this heat. And then I'll drill in alfalfa and grass. And this will be ready to go. firing up this pivot for the first time this spring. I still have to go through and check all my gearboxes, but I wanted to at least fire up the pump and make sure it pumps water. And I'll just check those and top them off with oil and hopefully it'll be good to go. We turn these heifers out onto green grass in Deer Lodge. This 20 acre lot never got grazed last fall so the grass is really good on it. Turn the bulls out with them earlier today. They'll be here for about a week then I'll haul them to Avon where they'll spend the summer. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy the random spring work that we've been doing and tune in next time for our vents collaring. See you in the next video.